Javier Hidalgo, a man equally famous for his extravagant lifestyle. Following his sudden disappearance, we found out that he had attempted to approach Umbrella. Just what are you up to now, Javier? So, you think B.O.W.'s actually exist? Oh, wait. You said you faced him before, huh? This is my first mission with Krauser. He's a soldier with the U.S. Special Operations Command, and has quite the resume of accomplishments in the field. But to him, after all he's been through, B.O.W.'s, cryptid, they're all the same. Our guide is in the village up ahead. He'll take us to Empire where Javier is hiding out. Come on, let's move. Just girls that have gone missing. There's no one left. Something's wrong. Smells like... like a battlefield. Battlefield? Yeah. Like death. That's our guide. What happened? <laughs> that girl. The girl? What girl? <laughs> she brought devils to this village. <laughs> she escaped from Oyer's mansion. I helped her. But then, she... <laughs> Javier's mansion? Wait, where is she now? Hey! Shit, he's gone. He said she escaped from Javier's mansion. Yeah. You think it was one of those missing girls? The sacred snakes traffic organs on the black market. Could have something to do with one of them, yeah. According to our report, there was no conclusive evidence linking the two, but, uh... I think we'll need to track down that girl to find out for sure. Well, now that our guide is dead, she could be our only chance to find Javier's mansion. There should be a boat over by the church. Let's check it out. What was that? Where's the body? Something in the water. It took him. Sleep, my love, as the 
trees above protect you from the dark. Our great river will watch you as you dream until Leon. We did it! Leon, what the hell is going on here? Have you fought these things before? Look, fill me in. I need to know what you've been through. Everything. I told Krauser everything about the Raccoon City incident. He just listened, quietly. But the situation in the village was different from Raccoon. There were controlled BOWs amongst the rest. What happened there? We made our way upstream towards Javier Hidalgo's mansion. The man who could hold the key to uncovering this mystery. You don't have to worry. You're fine. We're not going to hurt We're you. We're the ones who saved you. You all right? So, you're the girl, huh? The one from Javier's mansion? The people in the village. What happened to them? They're all dead. We're here on a mission looking for an American who had contacted Javier about a virus. We need to find Javier, and we were hoping you could take us to Amparo. So that's Javier's... Yes. I escaped through there. Javier! Manuela... All of these I've done for you. You need only to follow my directions for 15 years. This will prevent a transformation. But please, my dear, you must be patient. What the...? The man who gave us the Veronica virus told me it would work. The Veronica virus? These Americans cannot save you, my dear. Only I, your father, can help you now. Manuela! Manuela! Veronica. The dreadful horror Claire had encountered. Why did Javier give it to his own daughter? I believe Manuela is infected with the Veronica virus. Which means it could spread throughout this land. But why would Javier infect his own daughter? And how can she maintain her human form? How does she sustain it without transforming into something horrific, like Steve? Why did Javier infect you with the Veronica virus? And what did he mean by too late? You know, I shouldn't even be standing here, given the circumstances. injected with it 
It's part of my treatment. Treatment? It wasn't my fault. My doctor diagnosed me with the same disease my mother had. He told me there was no chance of recovery. And all we could find out was that only people living in this area contracted it. It... It killed my mother. But somehow... I... Manuela told us everything she knew. When she was 15, she contracted the same fatal disease that her mother had. The Veronica virus was used as a form of treatment, and consequently she recovered. It must have strengthened her cells. However, the virus can severely damage its host's brain cells and, if incompatible, will take them over. Completely. Even Ashford's researchers were unable to control it. There appears to be no exception to this, outside of Javier's treatment of Manuela. Somehow, he's managed to keep her from turning into a monster. Leon. We should take care of the girl before it gets too late. It's only a matter of time, Leon, before she becomes a threat. Javier knows something. He's been able to prevent Manuela from transforming. I have to take her with me and find out how. Antivirus weapon protocol number 7600. You're on a special assignment for the president. My mission is to eradicate this virus once and for all. And with your help, I intend to do just that. Well, I am a soldier. And if your orders are from the president, then I'm on your side. Let's go. Time to kick some ass. These are all human organs. The missing girls. Manuela! must be transplanted regularly. What are you talking about? He helps with the pain, keeping the virus at bay. But that's only for the first 15 years. If you had just let me die, none of this would have ever happened. No. I couldn't just watch you die. In nature, the predators who prey on others only grow stronger and thrive. You crazy, selfish old fool! Considering you brought my daughter back, I will grant your death's meaning. Manuela?
I don't want to live if it means others have to die. <laughs> I should have done this sooner, Hilda. Stupid Americans. You think you can defeat it, don't you? But you forget that when you look into the depths of the abyss, it swallows you whole. You lost Javier. We need some air support. Let's go. What the? Was it something genetic? Or was she sustained by this land that's so rich with life? The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually until the day it can be destroyed in our bodies 
in our souls. Who is this man? This whisker that Leon was talking about. And if I found him, could he help me regain my strength? I should have died with my father. No. No one should have died down there. Besides, you've got an obligation to live. For the sake of the girls living inside you. you. fight against bio-warfare all started in a zombie-infested ghost town. It was September 1998, my first and only day as a police officer. Get down! Not bad. I never thought any of this stuff my brother taught me would work. Stars? A special force issue, huh? It's my brother's. That's why I'm here. To find him. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey. Leon Kennedy. Thank God. At least the police station is secure. Let's take a break. Because it looks like it's going to be a long night. He's coming this way. This is all new to me. But that scream. Yeah, we better check it out. Oh god. That scream we just heard. It must have been him. We're too late. That's Ben. There's something on the wall. No hope of survival, I write this. He must be talking about the police department's involvement with the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella. Look at this. The station and the lower level lab at Umbrella are connected by a sewer. If we can get access to that sewer, we can get out of here. Huh? Where'd she go? Ada? She was just here. Where'd she go? Ada. We did it. Leon! <laughs> 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 
Ada! There's nothing here for you, thief! Ada! No! no! Farewell. Leon, why? Leon! What happened? I got shot. It was a woman. Wait, you mean? No, not Ada. She. You're losing a lot of blood. Don't move. I've got to remove the bullet. Who was that? She was about to kill you. That's my problem, not yours. Fine. Don't tell me. But you better start working with me here. Or we'll never make it out of this alive. Please, Ada. I need your help. I can't do this alone. You're right. I'll help you. Thanks. But first, we need to find the others. Don't die, Leon. I owe you. I guess she's on our side, then. Lucky us. Don't move! What's your intention here? My intention? I just want to get out of the city alive. I don't think you understand what's going on here. Now is not the time for us to be pulling guns on each other. The city has been destroyed. So? Please, we don't have time for this. Have you seen a little girl? She's about ten years old. Her name is Sherry. Sherry? Do you know her? Sherry is my daughter. What? I told her to hide in the police station. William must be after her. William? William Birkin. He's Sherry's father. And a man who turned this city into a living hell to protect G. G again? the hell is a G? The G virus. It's the next generation virus that William and I developed at our daughter's expense. A uh, next generation virus? <sighs> it conforms a living thing and rapidly evolves into transcendental levels. A boom for these modern times. This is Hunk. We've acquired all the G samples. Mission completed. G, my creation will save me. But the virus was flawed. Even if you survive the zero conversion with G, you become nothing more than a puppet to its will. Our research was a failure. His only concern now is to procreate. People with a genetic makeup similar to his own could stand to birth a superior offspring. Sherry. Come on, we have to help her. I can't. I've got unfinished business to attend to. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. If the embryo's been implanted, only the vaccine from the underground lab could save her. William, it's time to finish this. Isn't she beautiful? Ah. Uh.
I was about to stuff her. <laughs> Chief Irons? You know him? Prowling around at a time like this. You're after G, too, aren't you? G? Don't play dumb with me! Hello? Aren't you Dr. Perkins? I need... That's not supposed to happen! Sherry! Hold on! We need to stop this thing first! After reuniting with Sherry, we managed to escape from the underground sewer only to be faced with a new problem. Sherry became sick. She told us that while she'd been wandering the depths of the sewers, she had been implanted with a G embryo. But it wasn't too late. We began our journey into the bowels of the Umbrella facility to retrieve the vaccine. How do you feel? It's okay. You're safe here. You can have it. It's yours now. For good luck. Thank you. Do you miss your mommy and daddy? No. They're always more preoccupied with their research. But you know, I prefer to be alone. Come on, we better hurry. She's getting worse. Okay. Sherry, hang in there. We're gonna get the vaccine to make you better, okay? Cliff! I promise we'll be back. Just wait here. We won't be long. We'll have to search the rooms, one by one. Wait. I'm picking up something. A signal. A radio signal? From who? Do you read me? Annette? Is Sherry there? Yeah. She was attacked. She's in critical condition. Where are you now? Hey! You still there? Be careful. Especially with that woman. What woman? Ada. She's a special agent sent here to retrieve the G-sample. She was approaching the researchers and obtaining information about Umbrella. She'll do whatever it takes to accomplish her purpose. She's highly dangerous. Now, I think you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Ada isn't. Annette! Annette! Damn it, she hung up on me. Look, we don't have time for her right now. I know. One of Umbrella's failed experiments. Ada. This place is gonna blow. There isn't much time left. Leon, you have to get out of here. No. Not without you. It's strange. I barely know you. But I knew you'd say that. Uh... Ada. Favor. Returned. William! Don't you 
you recognize me? I'm your wife, Annette. William, I'm sorry. But I've got to put an end to G. Claire! Uh, Annette! Uh, she is growing even stronger. If you don't stop this, Sherry will... Annette, please. We need to find the vaccine. The P4 lab on the bottom floor. Please, help Sherry. Tell her that even though I failed as a mother, I have always loved her. The vaccine worked, and Sherry recovered. But time was running out. The seconds of the countdown to self-destruction were slipping by, and her only escape was through a hidden subway. be okay now, aren't we? <laughs> Sherry. I have something to tell you. About your mother. <laughs> the vaccine that saved you. It was from your mother. She loved you very much. Always has. Right up till the end. No, that's a lie. Mommy never. <laughs> After that, Claire set out alone to find her brother. And Sherry and I were rescued by U.S. government agents. We have the authority to do as we please with you. You and that girl. Just leave her out of this. She's an innocent. An innocent who carries the G antibody. Don't worry. We're taking very good care of her. Bottom line is, you have the experience we're looking for. So if you want this to end peacefully, you really have only one choice work for us and just like that I found myself in the service of the US government they were aristocrats entitled and sustained by a greed for power having been involved in the foundation of umbrella the Ashford family had also independently performed research on the Veronica virus however 15 years ago Alexander Ashford disappeared under mysterious circumstances to make things worse, Alexander's daughter, Alexia, a child prodigy who played a key role in the research, died at a young age. Her untimely demise brought an end to the Veronica Project. And the Umbrella Files show that all research was apparently lost. The Ashford lineage gradually lost its power to the corrupt hands of the Umbrella Corporation. Alexia's brother, Alfred, was demoted to a mere supervisor and he was sent to command a private detention facility on an isolated island in the Southern Seas, alone. I feel like this year may be special. Don't you, Alexia? It's almost like there's something I'm forgetting. My dear Alfred, please be easy on yourself. Why don't you set down your burdens and play a game with me? You're right, Alexia. Since you've come back, I've never been this happy. Which 
way. Wait! I wasn't trying to escape. I just... The alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought that I... Rockford <sighs> Prison, detainee 267. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella, then, are you? I'm Claire Redfield. Damn, girl. You scared me. Eyes forward. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name's Steve. <laughs> you don't look like one of them, Claire. They get you too? Yeah. You could say that. Looks like my brother was never even here. Umbrella probably doesn't know where he is either. What did he do? Why are they after him? I don't know. But he's been missing for three months. I was in Paris looking for him. I broke into one of Umbrella's labs. But I got caught. And you were sent here. What about you? What's your story? Uh, it's dumb. You don't want to know. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Some other jackass screwed up. Landed the two of us in here. So we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So you don't know much about this place, do you? Apparently some noble family owned the joint. The Ashfords. That's Alfred. He's the only surviving member. Rumor has it, he went mad from loneliness. But why would anyone want to bomb this place? Anyway, I've got to contact Leon. He'll come for us. Look out! <laughs> I am Alfred Ashford, son of Alexander Ashford. That's him. Why have you come to disturb us? Was it you? Was it you who spread that wretched virus across my island? That's got nothing to do with us! Look, we all need to get out of here right now, okay? <laughs> Fool. She has only just now returned to me. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Who? You mean Alexia? <laughs> she always did enjoy playing games. And she has come up with the most splendid game for us to play. Games? If you survive our challenge, I will personally present you with a getaway plane as your prize. Ready? Let the game begin! was playing two roles all by himself. He couldn't bear the fact that his sister was dead. We have much choice here. Uh. We either stay here and possibly die or catch him and find out how to get off this island. It's one or the other. All right. Let's get this over with. Now you're talking. I'm no rat, and I'm gonna make that very clear to him. Kidding 
me! Leave her alone! Steve! Let her go! Father. What? He worked for Umbrella. Nobody, just another face in the crowd. He was a rat. A mole. He tried to leak some data, make some quick cash, but they caught him. And they killed my mother. And then they took me. Steve. It was his fault. He was stupid. He was... Let's go. Oh, this is our way off this island! Wait. Something is wrong here. We don't have time! Let's go! Code Veronica in progress. Claire! Open gate 2B for takeoff. <laughs> I knew you would lead me to the truth. Okay, now we get the hell off this damn island. Taken my plane. It will only prove for more entertainment. <laughs> what was that? Something is stuck to the pontoon. I'll go back to the cargo room and take a look. carrying Steve and Claire began to descend and made an emergency landing at an unknown facility, a forgotten site. It was just yet another playground. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Latitude 82 degrees, 17 minutes south. What? We're at the South Pole! What? Forgive me, Alexia. I thought I could finish them alone. <laughs> Awaken from your slumber and bring forth the great Veronica. Chris? Chris! <laughs> 
I've been so worried. You kidding me? I thought tough girls like you didn't get worried. <laughs> what happened? How did you get here? Leon contacted me. Leon? You know him? Yeah. He tracked me down right after you went missing. Look, Claire, we can talk about this later, but we gotta get out of here first. Wait, Steve, he's here somewhere. We can't leave without him. <laughs> You're Alexia Ashford. Oh, you know my name. I thought you were dead. No. I've just been hibernating for 15 years to become one with the Veronica virus. Veronica virus? I still have some experiments to perform. Would you care to play along? Your friend awaits you in the Colosseum. You don't want to be late. <laughs> she injected me with something. I think it's the Veronica virus. She wants to test me, see if I'll obey her orders. Claire, she wants me to kill you. Steve! I won't... kill you! Make it. You know that. The virus is in me. There's no turning back. No. You're coming with us. Claire. I. I. Steve. Steve! No! Stay here. I'm gonna go plant this in the power room. I'm coming with you. It's time this ended. Alexia has to be stopped. I'm gonna finish this, Steve. And then... We'll all be free. My little experiment at the Colosseum was so much fun, don't you think? Chris! Though I guess sometimes a worker ant will turn on his queen. Chris! Are you okay? Oh, that's right. You two are brother and sister, aren't you? I had a brother once, too. He really wasn't much fun. He couldn't even wake me up on time. But I've released him of all his responsibilities. You think everyone in this world is here to serve you, don't you? Serve me? No. I think everyone else is here to serve my experiments. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, Veronica's angry, which 
makes me stronger. <laughs> If you are seeing this message, that can only mean that Code of Veronica has reached a critical stage. Father. The year is 1983, and I am afraid that my only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. She has even got to the point of experimenting on her own body. My daughter dreams of unleashing this thing into the world. This last step is the only way I can think of to help her. Whether you are on Umbrella's side or not, please help her. Even though it was he who created my brother and I, but he was such a miserable old man. standing for much longer. <sighs> yeah. What's going on? Where's Steve? <laughs> He's been taken. A star's knife? But this one looks different from yours. I'm pretty sure I know who it belongs to. Veronica virus, despite Chris's best efforts, was procured by Wesker. He secured Steve's body, which had been infected, and was able to extract the virus, leading to its reappearance in South America. The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually, until the day comes when it can be destroyed.